Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. I've got a story coming out of China right now, and I wanted to cover this because I think this is going to continue to get worse and worse until literally the whole house of cards comes falling down. And we, the good news is we have Lehman Brothers to look back on in the past as sort of a, a bellwether or a, to be able to see like how long it took the rumors to spread. You remember that before Lehman Brothers went down, it was Bear Stearns, and that was in the spring of 2008. And what blew me away is that I remember in real time following Lehman and the and the whispers starting uh, in the news in the middle of, of the summer. And so it does take some time, and China's real estate market is collapsing quite spectacularly. And I believe that coming soon to a pension fund near you, we're going to start seeing uh, bondholders having to take uh, write downs and I think a lot of that's going to be in our pension systems all around the world so I'm going to link the story below but I'm going to go over it a little bit China developers confront a 197 billion dollar change in January and what it states here is uh, China's property developers have mounting bills to pay in January and shrinking options to raise necessary funds. The industry will need to find at least $197 billion to cover maturing bonds, coupons, trust products, and deferred wages to millions of migrant workers, according to Bloomberg calculations and analyst estimates. Beijing has urged builders like China Evergrande Group to meet payrolls by the end in order to avoid the risk of social unrest. Now, this is what's really important. I want people to understand. There's a couple different issues here. So not paying your builders stops, your workers stops production, okay? So to say we're going to go from bad to worst is an understatement. However, the one thing that you have to remember that is very, very important is if you do not pay uh, workers as well, there can be social unrest, which leads to many other issues way outside of um, finances, uh, the financial industry in China, but now political issues in China as well. And that is absolutely the last thing they need. Now, do I believe in my non-professional opinion that this is going to get worse? I do believe that in, in January. The stage is definitely set. I mean, the contagion that went from Evergrande to uh, so many other uh, large developers, real estate developers in China, is it's just getting bigger and bigger. And the thing is, is that that is going to uh, the, systemically, it's going to ripple through the world's economy as well. I want people to remember that Lehman Brothers took down the world and put the world into a recession. And to say that I believe... I do believe personally and uh, non-professionally that not only Evergrande, but if you add up all the developers that are hurting right now in China, I think they make Lehman Brothers look like a walk in the park. Guys, I'm going to link this story below. I just wanted to get it pushed out to you because I think it's important. Guys, thank you so much for sharing all these videos. Thank you for all the new subscribers. And if you're thinking about subscribing and you do, I really do appreciate it. It helps get the word out. With that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.